Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am going on vacation and I am so excited, so is Doug. But right now what we're doing is we're going in and doing a few errands. We're on a midnight flight and we just found out how exciting that the um, food service workers are on strike, so we may not get any food. So we're gonna have to buy some and um, bring it on. But we're going into the gallery to do last minute few things and I and I cut so many daffodils because I'm going away for three weeks and they're gonna be dead anyway so I cut them all and I'm bringing into the gallery so I'm gonna bring you in with me this is gonna be a short little video I'll walk you around the gallery and um, yeah stay tuned here we are at Crown and Press in Hamilton, Ontario on Ottawa Street. This is a gallery that my husband and I uh, built. This used to be a Woolworths. So here's the gallery. It's very Art Deco. We have a cafe, which is absolutely wonderful. And here's our wonderful cafe staff. Okay, can you guys tell us, tell me, how much you love working for Crown and Press? So much. So much. We love working. Yeah. <laughs> the, best. the best place to work for. Really. The best yeah. place. So this is Amy and this is Marissa. This is Marissa. This is Amy. <laughs> and Amy also works in our gallery. She is also an artist and she works in the gallery too. She does double duty. She can serve oh, you yeah. coffee and she can sell you a really great painting. So I'm going to take you on a little tour. So this is the cafe. There's my husband rolling his eyes because all of a sudden I remembered that I needed to do this video. Whenever I get here, I get very distracted and I love being here. So we sell some great coffee. This is our print wall where we sell prints to go. You can just kind of take it off. I have notebooks and cards available. And these are all available on my Crown and Press website, crownandpress.com. These are my books. I have a coffee table book. There was a thing inside my shoe. And then a really fun look at those cows. More notebooks. And here's the gallery. I had so much fun using Facebook Marketplace to find the things that we have here. These chairs were Facebook Marketplace. We use our center walls to highlight artists. And it's really wonderful. On, on a Saturday, we will have an opening. And um, people will come and celebrate the art. My husband just built these um, two more of these rolling walls. We had three to begin with and he just built two more and it's been absolutely great to create this little room. So this is wonderful. So um, Justin, my gallery manager, asked if we could have a little carpet so that we could put some paintings that you could actually flip through so that they'd be safe. So I thought instead of just a three by five, I got a full carpet and it creates just this lovely little atmosphere in this space. All of these artists, you can find their work at crownandpress.com. They are all available as originals and in print. This is my one of my paintings. I don't know if you recognize that. But this, the artist we're featuring right now, Corrine Van Hoovey, is so much fun with her outfits, her pianos. There's one of my cows. There's some of the pop art that we are showing. We're also featuring, featuring an artist named Douglas Edwards. He's fantastic. And I just love, love this work by Kelly McDonough. Looking through your windshield. Isn't that neat? So cool. This is an interesting story. This display case 
was left to us by a film um, production. They used, not last August, the August before, they used this set or our building for The Big Cigar by Dan, Don Cheadle. And this was a, uh, a deli and this was their deli case. And so they left it for us, which was absolutely fabulous. We renovated it a little bit and <clears throat> painted it up. And it houses all my pillows. And again, all available through Crown and Press, the handbags that have my images, and then all of these wonderful little smalls. Absolutely great. So again, we are going on vacation and it's going to be marvelous. I'm going to miss this place so much. That's Valentine. This is Romeo by an artist named Leslie Starr, Chloe Klumecki. And then here, Justin, here's Justin. Let's go this way because the back light, you're getting backlit. Let's put you over here. Justin is my gal gallery manager, and are you gonna? You can handle it all by yourself without me oh, for three weeks. I don't weeks. know. I'm gonna handle it by myself for three weeks. Man, Justin, you're supposed to say I don't know. It's gonna be really, really hard. <laughs> it's gonna be so difficult. We're gonna miss you here every single day. There, that's better. Justin <laughs> is married to my daughter Abigail, and Abby's not here, so I can't introduce you to her. They can follow us at Crown and Press on Instagram. What's our website? crownandpress.com. There you go. Thanks, Justin. Justin was excited to be put on the spot. <laughs> and here's our wonderful Amanda Emmers. So here we go. Now we're off. Oh, here's our wonderful, hold on, hold on. Say hello to the YouTube world. Hello, YouTube. I'm gonna get over here because it's backlit. Introduce yourself. Uh, Who are you? I'm Gary and I'm the master roaster for City Cup Coffee Roasters. Okay, did you hear that? He's Gary and he's the master roaster for our wonderful Sippy, sippy Cup Coffee. And yes, here's, it's a mouthful. It is a mouthful, but here's the thing. It's such a delicious mouthful. Gary, do you remember how you introduced us? I want you to tell everybody how you introduced us to your coffee. Uh, great story. Uh, I believe um, we were brought in contact with each other and I said, hey, why don't I come by and let's sample some coffee. And yes. while we're doing that, let's sample some butter tarts because butter tarts and coffee are a great pair. Yes. And in Canada, if you're not watching me from, from Canada, butter tarts are very famous here in Canada. But what, here's my tip. I, you know that I teach a lot about um, business of art. Here's the business of selling a cafe coffee. We had a lot of coffee roasters drop off wares. They just dropped off their coffee. But what, what Gary did differently is he brought the coffee, he made the coffee, brewed the coffee, served the coffee with butter tarts, and we fell in love with it. And that is what won you the contract. There you go. And I always try to tell a little bit of a story. There's a story behind all our different offerings. Yes. And when you tell that story, you captivate, you engage other people, and they learn about you, and they fall in love with you. And you know what? That is the exact same thing for art, for artists. Each piece has a story. Right. So thank you very much. I'm glad I grabbed you, Gary. <laughs> you were making a delivery today? I was. Yes. And all right, honey, let's get going. We'll get on the road. We're off to Wales. Ciao. Now we're home again from our morning, figuring out what's going on at the cafe and the gallery. And I'm just gonna come out and check on the studio, make sure that everything is closed up, everything is good, and say goodbye to my baby. This is my wonderful, wonderful little gallery. Let me turn this around. Here's the studio, ready for me to leave. I'm gonna come in and straighten a few things so that when I come home, everything is ready for me to use all the inspiration. Oop, oop, I gotta, this brush is a little stiff. I gotta clean it 
to use all of the things that will inspire me at in Wales and uh, make some beautiful new images. So I just want to show you before I say goodbye, I'm on a plane at midnight tonight. I have been working on a sketchbook and you're going to laugh because I just said in another, um, in another video that I don't really use a sketchbook, but I'm starting to use leftover paint. I'm going to see if I can get this to be better. Leftover paint and I'm starting to scribble with it. So this is fun. This is a combo of acrylic paint, pastels, and then here's another. I think these are actually really freeing for abstract because I can scribble. It's not, it's not important at all. Only two so far, guys. <laughs> so there you have it for this video. Um, I leave at midnight tonight and it's only 1 p.m. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next 11 hours. Um, it's beautiful out. I might sit in the sun with some coffee. There's nothing to eat here because I've been cleaning out the fridge in uh, preparation. But watch for some fun things. I have a question and answer coming up. I've done a garden tour that's coming up uh, that Kay, my videographer and partner, that she's putting together and that she'll be posting. So there's going to be some content. Plus, I'm going to just pop on like this over in Wales. I'm going to make, um, maybe I'll make a little collaboration of little videos of what I'm seeing and post it once a week or something like that. I'm also doing, I'm bringing a little watercolor um, pad and watercolor paints and pencils and things like that. And I will be doing some sketches. So, and I did bring a stand. So possibly I can show you how I'm gonna do some watercolor. Join me for the adventure. I really don't know what the content's gonna be for the next three weeks. See you later and um, have a great spring. It's gorgeous here. I am a little sad to be missing three weeks worth of my garden. It's true, it is actually a thing. Bye.